Hello friends and uh, we have all heard that um, in a galaxy far far away you don't need uh, you know any uh, wheels in fact uh, in the galaxy far far away the aliens don't even construct uh, roads yeah, so there are no roads in star wars uh, world uh, in fact uh, there are no highways and uh, because uh, their vehicles are levitating and uh, you know you, you don't need road because if you're above the ground uh, as long as you're above the ground you can drive anywhere you want so there are no roads in the star war uh, world and uh, it's very mesmerizing because uh, we think that this is because of the anti-gravity uh, properties or anti-gravity technology that our uh, aliens friend have found a solution to which we are still searching right so you know i think uh, we don't have to go very far because on earth now the scientists have found a way to levitate. We will discuss about this. Uh, welcome to Akul Mac Live. Uh, and uh, you know, if you have any comments, uh, any suggestions, you can uh, send in your comments on this subject. This is very exciting. So let's begin our discussion. The first point uh, that we want to talk about is uh, uh, this is achieved by magnetism, not by anti-gravity, by by magnetism. And we know that uh, the magnetic levitation which is also known as maglev has been around for a very long time i mean the french who were the first one to start a maglev train you can actually lift the train and uh, once you lift the train then there is no friction there is no connection with, uh, with the ground and then you can uh, you know you take your uh, you know train to very high speeds uh, which cannot be th uh, you unthinkable kind of speeds so that has been there in fact the chinese have actually ventured into maglev space and they have interconnected a lot of their cities uh, using the maglev technology using high speed uh, train network there are various advantages in maglev one of the advantages that you don't need gasoline injured everything is driven by electricity and magnetism so it is very environment friendly and yet you can achieve very high speed uh, since there are no engines there uh, is less maintenance etc so i think these are some uh, advantages and using this technology these uh, the scientists have got a breakthrough which will levitate your cars and uh, you know that will change the whole paradigm we will discuss this so there is a breakthrough in how you can use the same maglev technology to apply that in a very small uh, uh, way into your cars cars will get levitated and then you can drive <clears throat> the uh, maglev cars and it will look like science fiction there is going to be uh, a major change in the way we actually uh, you know uh, uh, conduct ourselves we will come to that let's move to the next point which is uh, the maglev itself so how maglev works see the maglev has uh, two parts one is the track on which the train is uh, uh, you know uh, standing and uh, the 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 car which is which is the basically the bogey of the train has coils in it and has battery so the battery or electric or overhead electricity will generate magnetic current in the car there is no other machine in the car except the magnet and once uh, the magnets are uh, created the electromagnetism is created then the similar magnetism will uh, be created using some mechanism some oscillator into the tracks and now everything is magnetized however we know that the same pole repel not not cannot come together so what happens is that uh, at a very high speed the polarity of the uh, magnets which are present in the track are, are changed which is like many 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 times per second and because of that since the um, same poles repel the car move forwards okay so the car will move forward because they, if there is north here and south here on the track, and if there is uh, north here and south here in the car, then obviously this magnet will repel and this magnet will attract. So the car will move forward. So by changing the polarity of the on the track by, of the magnetism, the the speed can be high speed can be achieved without friction or any loss of energy because there is no. Uh, contact between track and the train so so far this has been uh, going on now uh, the uh, 
OIST, which is the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology, their uh, scientists have found a way to create even better way to create the magnetism. What they have found is that uh, if the material of the car or the bogey is uh, made with special material, which is using some graphite and all, I mean, there is a lot of research going on there. But if you use it, then you need to only once magnetize the car. So your battery requirement will be used only when or electricity when you initially start your car. And uh, once you magnetize it, then it will remain magnetized and you don't need electricity to power the car. And the rest of the technology remains the same. You can use the track to uh, propel the car forward. Now, if this is the case, then you don't need a big you know, uh, a bogey, a big train bogey, you can actually implement the same technology in your cars also. If the cars are made of the material which the OIST scientists are saying, then it becomes very simple. You can actually get into your car, uh, magnetize it, switch on the button, your car is magnetized, and then uh, you just drive around uh, wherever you want very much similar to how the uh, star wars these uh, scooters the flying scooters you see and you don't see any road any tarmac uh, and in fact uh, you know this is something which is uh, groundbreaking where uh, you need very small infrastructure in your car you don't have to buy very expensive cars etc just car made of some special material which is again not very expensive using some graphite and the combination of those and then once you magnetize your car, then it will remain magnetized without the need of any battery systems or whatever. So this is the new innovation the Japanese have uh, done, which is very exciting. This will make the system much lighter, the uh, greener and more efficient because you're not spending too much energy. You're just initially magnetizing your car and then putting uh, on an uh, electric uh, track system and then you're going right so the whole objective of uh, adapting the electric motors migrating from gasoline engines to electric engines is basically to uh, become more environment friendly so if this technology catches on more research is done and it becomes viable then you don't need any engine all kinds of engines will be out of the window and uh, our world will be uh, much greener your cars will become simpler not very complex maybe cheaper and affordability of the cars will be uh, then uh, uh, widespread and then you can drive around without any noise pollution without any uh, wear and tear without any friction without any air pollution and drive around uh, places go anywhere you want without any sound also with comfortable no jerks no shock absorbers you know it because your car is floating in the air there is no contact between the ground and the car so this is the more efficient way of ferrying people and traveling all over the place and this will take uh, our humanity beyond the automotive current automotive technology now it is a fact that a lot of automotive uh, giants like uh, ford bmw audi they are all doing their innovation but their innovations have uh, been propelled by the economics and all of these uh, companies uh, they are doing groundbreaking innovations but they are moving slowly from internal combustion engine to electric hybrids and then uh, in this combination they are actually doing a lot of innovation so all of these uh, large companies have come out with this base innovation around this however uh, in fact uh, uh, the green hydrogen is also part of that where the hydrogen is used as fuel and hydrogen is the most abundant uh, element in the uh, universe. So when these uh, companies are doing innovation around gasoline engine and a combination of gasoline engine with electric motor and making hybrid cars which can go far and uh, long distance. Now with this OIST uh, innovation, uh, there will be a spanner in this uh, in the large companies uh, work because they have already sunk in a lot of uh, millions of dollars in this research and development. So I think there are going to be huge changes in if this technology catches up, there will be huge changes in the way we actually look at automotive industry itself.
well you know that uh, after the petroleum industry uh, and food industry the largest one of the largest industry in the world today is the automotive industry because you need to not only produce cars you need to produce trucks of all different kinds for different uses uh, you need to produce tractors you need to produce um, your uh, railway engines uh, and in a way aeroplanes also so i think there is going to be a huge change if you can move at high speed without the use of engine it's, itself without the use of electricity i mean it sounds like magic right so that is why this uh, you know initial research which has been done by oist is very exciting it looks like uh, science fiction it looks like that uh, you know uh, in future in near future you don't need any engines in your car and therefore uh, your car can levitate and maybe you don't need wheels also i mean you may need smaller wheels because there is a lot of research going on in the rubber technology uh, creating uh, different kinds of tire at high speed low speed you know <laughs> rainy tires if there is no contact with the ground you don't need tires and tires are also one of the most difficult items which degrade in nature so they are not environment friendly so we can get rid of all the lithium ion battery we can get rid of all the uh, gas guzzler engines we can get rid of tires and oils which all basically contribute to the environment uh, pollution so i think this is very exciting so friends do let me know what you think about this uh, latest development levitating cars very much similar to what you see in uh, star wars on earth also we will have these levitating cars and do send in uh, your comments your suggestions it will be very exciting to read your comment in the next one so thanks for watching me live and i will catch you again soon